In the last video, we covered uh, making this nice canopy here. I'd like to go over some of the other major elements of the uh, Rafael. I think this time I'd like to work on the tail section. So I'm going to highlight this uh, back face here and we'll create a sketch. Um, it looks like we've got this nice uh, little rear piece that we should extend out further. So to do that, I'm going to convert entities with that face highlighted. So the entire face uh, is converted into an entity. And from here, uh, we should have the horizontal constraint, which we do. And I'm going to get the horizontal constraint relatively close to that line. Now I may have to uh, mess with my views to really see what's going on, but it looks like yeah, our blue line there <laughs> is right around the, the area that we need it to be. So I'm going to choose trim and let's trim the sketch sections that we don't need. And you can constrain that if you'd like or just leave it. Uh, I'm going to do an extrude boss. And it's funny because I so ardently uh, talk about fully constraining, but for coming off of an image, it's really more about what you see. 0.65 seems about right, so we'll go there. And next thing to do, um, let's get on the right plane and work with our tail. So right plane, create sketch. I'm going to snap right on the top of my rear rib. And that seems to be right there about the tangent point that you would hit a linear section. Uh, and I want to be tangent to that section of my rib. Uh, let's, let's see if there's, I don't think, let's make sure I have to get normal. Looks like I can't really grab the ribs, so I'm going to select my tangent handle and choose horizontal because the, there's a horizontal spline going along here, and that should be good for what we're doing. And then I'm going to come up here and try to cover this entire linear section of the tail with a straight line. That seems about right. I'm going to lock this line in place with a fixed relation. And I think we already have tangent. I'm going to add tangent again just to make sure. Let's add in a two-point spline to go from here to here. And we're going to choose tangent. And we go almost perfect right off the bat. Now we we'll take a straight line right here. And I think I can possibly hold my line all the way back up to the tail. Except uh, if I extrude on a curve, then we see can we can see that the edge of the extrusion is going to go right off. So instead I'm going to make that uh, for construction, uh, get back normal, and extend that down a little bit. From here, we're going to add a collinear. The vertical there, and for cleanliness, I'll make that horizontal. And that should be as far as we need for the tail. Now let's go control eight. Well, control one, how about let's look at it from the front. Um, so we can see the width of the tail here. And I'm going to choose extrude. We'll go mid plane. I'm going to take that down till the width of the tail seems about full. About 0.25. It's kind of thick. I'll take that down a little bit further to 0 0.2. There we have a tail. Next thing I'll do, 
highlight these two edges and choose fillet. If we go 0.2, then we want 0.1 for fillet radius. And that ensures that the edge of the tail is actually completely rounded. So that's pretty nice. Next thing to do, and I think this, we're probably going to see a little bit of a conflict between the front and uh, the side views. So if I go one, it looks like our height's about right there of our tail section. And I think our side view is a little taller. So control one, let's add this feature here. We're going to say sketch. And uh, why don't we do this from the front plane to save us from making another plane. I'm going to go a little bit taller than the front view. And I thought that was a corner rectangle, so I'll readjust. Notice that fixes quite nicely on the center line. And we can afford to go a little bit taller. That seems about right. Uh, let's add in some sketch fillets around here to simplify. We can make those relatively small. How about 0.05? And you can fully constrain that if you want to. Um, it's funny, I, I always fully constrain everything, but again, sketching off a picture, you have a lot of leeway. Uh, so length of 40 is clearly too much. <laughs> Even 6 is too much, but why don't we set this to be offset, and let's go 10, 20, we'll reverse our offset. And I did not mean to accept that, so we'll come back here. 30, there we go, we're going to move that a little bit more forward, and let's get into our side view, let's go, twenty-seven point four five. now I can reduce, I should be fine there, this face, fillet, 0.05, that'll be a consistent fillet, and we'll apply it to that face as well. So there we have that feature. Now I can pull that trick, I think I did this a few videos ago. I'm going to refill, appearances, glass, clear glass. You can see a little fin feature right there. So let's uh, do a similar thing. I'm going to go onto the front plane. Create another sketch. Again, in case my front plane deceives me, I'm going to be a little bit taller. Eh, maybe I'll be right on this time. Going right about there. Features, extrude. I'm going to say offset in the other direction. I'm going to go 30. Yeah, we are a little bit lower, so that that does present a conflict between. The height of our views, but not a bad one. Around here, we blind the other direction. There we have that. Now I think our fin deserves to be a little bit smaller here, so. That more narrow. And there we have it. Going to uh, appearances and remove all part appearances. 
there we have a nice tail section on the Rafale. Uh, join me in the next video and we'll go over, uh, let's go out and split the cards next time. I uh, hope this video is helpful. If it was, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.